When a person chooses a dog breed that he would like to have as a beloved pet and friend, the main criteria are the size, character and, of course, the appearance of the dog. There are quite a few ugly and even scary looking breeds of dogs, of course, not everyone will agree with the ugliness of a particular breed, because taste is an individual matter, and this top is only the opinion of the majority and statistics. However, it's not the dog's fault that someone doesn't like him, and he's scary on the outside and probably kind on the inside. The ugliest dogs may be the result of an unforeseen mutation or breed trait. Despite the appearance, many lovers are attracted by the original appearance, thanks to which the pet quickly acquires an owner. Today we'll look at the most unique and scary looking breeds. The Staghound is also called the Reindeer Greyhound. The breed earns its place on the list thanks to its unnaturally long legs and hair that covers the body completely unevenly over its hunched body. People do not always recognize the breed as a dog, they confuse it with other representatives of animals for some, staghounds terrify them. The first impression, however, is not justified, since behind the appearance lies the good heart and spirit of the hunter. Faithful until the last minutes, the dog has high endurance and even determination. She is not characterized by aggression, the dog gets along well with other pets. When hunting, it can work in conjunction with other breeds, taking the place of the leader. This athletic dog is always in excellent physical shape, but a restless, noisy metropolis is not for her. Another name for this breed is the American Deer Dog. It appeared in the 19th century to the delight of local farmers and dog racing enthusiasts. The breed arose as a combination of the qualities of three strong working dogs, the Greyhound, Deerhound, and Irish Wolfhound. The Deerhound was surprisingly fast, so it was used to fight coyotes. The American Staghound is not considered a separate breed by the International Canine Organization, but is considered a subspecies of the Scottish Greyhound. In this regard, this breed is not allowed to participate in international dog shows. This fact, of course, plays a negative role in the popularity of dogs of this breed. Often Pincher. The appearance of this breed is, to put it mildly, ridiculous many consider it ugly due to its disheveled fur and protruding teeth. The dog resembles an angry monkey or a brownie that has barely escaped from the chimney. The appearance of the often pincher also reflects character traits the dog is one of the most restless among other dogs. The name of the often pincher breed is translated from German as ape-like. The strongly built often pincher is a distant relative of terriers, and indeed looks like a monkey. This is one of the oldest indoor dogs to appear in Central Europe. But initially it was not a decorative dog. She was kept in shops and stables for the purpose of hunting rats. Further breeding followed the path of reducing the size of the dogs and they began to be kept in houses for catching mice. In France, these dogs were called mustachioed devils for their protruding chin with a mustache and beard. This breed gets along well with dogs of its own breed, but is afraid of cats. Therefore, you should be careful when mixing this dog with other animals. He has a hunting instinct for rats, so decorative rodents may be in danger. There may be problems with house training. This dog does not like to obey and does not always understand why it needs it. The often pincher remembers commands well, but is in no hurry to carry them out due to its natural stubbornness. Bedlington Terrier Mutations have given this breed a sheep's muzzle, a body of irregular proportions, wool that grows only in certain areas, and a hunchback. The Bedlington Terrier is undoubtedly one of the most original breeds in the world. The kind and harmless appearance is not genuine the dog is very hot-tempered and often shows its character. The Bedlington Terrier is very hardy and has a high running speed this breed is often taken into races, where the dog often brings victory. The dog has a body structure similar to hounds, a pear-shaped elongated head, and a snow-white color of a lush and curly coat. Thanks to this set of qualities, the pet is often compared to a cute lamb. However, for all its charm, the dog can in an instant turn into a fierce fighter and implacable defender. For such a discrepancy between external data and character traits, the dog is called a lamb with the heart of a lion. The breed was bred in the 18th century in the east of England in the town of Bedlington, 
in whose honor the pets got their name. The animals were bred as a means of escape from rodents and pests, which densely populated the mines and caused a lot of problems for workers. The dog was also used as a hunting assistant, the breed was often bred by poachers, and the animal took part in rat-catching competitions. The dogs were often kept by gypsies, who taught them various tricks and even pickpocket skills. The Bedlington Terrier is credited with a lot of amazing capabilities that make the breed mystical. Residents of medieval England, who inhabited picturesque meadows that bordered the forest, were often attacked by wild animals. According to one legend, three Bedlington Terrier dogs were able to prevent the appearance of a wild bear in the village by killing the animal. Other stories say that the cute dog easily killed more than a hundred rats in ten minutes and still others claim that a dog can dodge even a point-blank shot. It would seem that urban legends have nothing to do with reality, but most dog handlers tend to believe the stories. The fact is that the breed is extremely controversial. Behind his pretty appearance lies a dexterous, merciless and strong hunter who can cope even with impossible tasks. The Brussels Griffin this breed got its protruding hair from the Shih Tzu breed and a flattened face with an overbite and bulging eyes from pugs. Although the dog cannot be called the most terrible dog in comparison with many other breeds, the appearance of this dog is very specific, their image bears little resemblance to a good-natured pet. But contrary to appearance, representatives of this breed are quite friendly and have a lot of energy. They are smart and loyal. The character of the Brussels Griffin is largely determined by the fact that these dogs are partly terriers. This means that they are completely devoted to their owners. Wherever their master goes, the Brussels Griffin will follow him everywhere. It is not known for certain why the small bearded dog was named Griffin, but the association with the mythical creature did its job. There is so much grandeur and pathos in the name Brussels Griffin, and naturally, for good reason. The fact is that in ancient times, when the plague took thousands of lives in Europe, the fight against rodents was an acute problem. It was then that these small dogs became the main assistants in the fight against rats that spread the plague. The Brussels Griffin dog breed is the brainchild of Belgium, whose climatic conditions simply obliged people to raise livestock and engage in agriculture. In addition to sheep and horses, mice and rats flourished on the farms. These small shaggy dogs lived in people's homes as rat catchers. Breeders noticed a feature of these dogs, which manifested itself in a keen sense of rodents, and the breed became popular throughout Europe. Chinese Crested is a small toy breed. It is also called the Chinese Hairless due to the lack of fur on its body. This mutation has been known in China since ancient times. Opinions about this breed are quite controversial some see it as a complete ugliness, others consider this appearance attractive. No hair grows on the body, with the exception of the neck and legs. At first glance, you might think that the dog was cut on purpose. This breed was very popular in the 19th century, but in the middle of the last century it almost disappeared. In 1966, only one American breeder had its only representatives. After this, the dogs were brought to Great Britain and a new era of their breeding began. The history of the exquisite Chinese crested dog includes many beautiful legends and hypotheses. It is believed that the breed was developed in ancient China, and the first word in the name of the breed is associated with this. The second indicates a characteristic feature of the appearance of the tuft on the head. Even ancient Chinese nobles used Chinese crested dogs to emphasize their position in society and prosperity. They even took their pets on long journeys and sailing. This is how the breed began to spread to other countries. As you know, Chinese folklore is rich in various fairy tales and parables, and the history of the appearance of this breed is magical. An ancient legend tells how a small fluffy dog found a freezing baby in the forest. To warm the child, she shook off all the fur on him, and then called the spirits of the forest for help. The gods were surprised and touched by such concern. They allowed the parents to take the baby and released the dog that had lost its hair after the people, and according to this legend, the Chinese crested appeared. Adherents of Buddhism and other religions, in turn, believed that hairless dogs were mysteriously connected with the afterlife. It was believed that such pets, after the death of their owner, went with him to the kingdom of death and became his lawyers at the great trial.
Well, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. If it was interesting, support the video with likes. Thank you for subscribing and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.